<laughs> Hello guys. You know this video is for those who are, who are always uh, you know running away from their own responsibility. They always shy away from responsibility. They don't want to take responsibility of their personal life. You come there like say if they get uh, somebody you know, you know who promised to take their responsibility for them. <laughs> If you are out there, you are you are hoping that uh, somebody else will take the responsibility of your life for you. Mm. The features assist you try to help you, but let me tell you, your future is in your hand. Your life is in your hand. Nobody is really going to help you out. You know, the help any help from anybody can only assist you to an extent. But you are the one that will really take your responsibility personally to change your life to help your life. And before you see somebody you know being seen as a responsible person a responsible man or a responsible woman that person has been able to take his own responsibility by you know themselves so nobody will see you as a responsible person when you are not ready to take responsibility you know if we have different types of responsibility especially in the family you know the family where you're from there are so so many problems to solve and which you know you know, if you are from a family whereby you see that your mother is suffering, your mother is you no know, passing through one health challenge or the other, and there is no money, you don't you know, get money, nobody gets money to take your mother to a good hospital, you know, for a good, uh, you know, medication. And you are there, you are still sitting down, watching it, expecting that things will change, or somebody will just appear from nowhere, help them. You are deceiving yourself. You know, if you're out there, you see that your father is suffering diabetes, suffering eyes problems, or IP, IBP, one problem or the other, and you are just there. You don't get money to carry them to hospital. Remember, oh, these people took care of you from where you, you know, they gave birth to you, and they took care of you from where you were little. Let me tell you, that breast milk, you know, breastfeeding where your mama gave you, she actually expected back. Yes, that's why they believe in you, you know. But when you have, uh, if you find that you have grown up to see them still struggling and uh, you have not had anything to offer, there is a problem to solve. And that is why you need to be responsible. Yes, that is why you need to be responsible. You know, nobody is going to help you. You are the one that will do that, you know, that will help them. Hello, inside of you, although you were born naked, we were all born naked, but none of us is empty. No, all of us, we are loaded with potential. God did not just create us and leave us empty. We are loaded with potential that we need to use to help our families. Yes, the Bible says that what is in you is greater than what is in the world. You know, it amuses me that so many people go for what is in the world and they leave what is within them. I'm talking about your talents, your potential. Your sources in this life is not in your credential anymore. The credential is that thing that is in the world. Then your potential is that thing that is in you. That God said that what is in you is greater than what is in the world. Are you surprised? <laughs> Let me tell you, you can't really make it in life, especially in this 21st century with your credential. But I know I wonder why so many people you know, abandon their potential, then they start pursuing their credentials. They spend money, they spend many years you know, pursuing their credentials. And at the end of everything, when they now finally get the credential, they can't use it to save their family. Your mother sold firewood, sold cassava, your father drive Okada, drive KK, drive taxi, join money together to send you to school, to go and study things that you can never make use of. And after you finish studying, they carry paper, pack paper, put, you put in your hand. And you use this paper searching for job, another person, another individual, when you even go to school, reach you, now catch you. You know, put on that in table, they pay you 30,000 naira. And an, an amount of money that can't really you know, take care of you, let alone to remember your mother. Who sold the fire, who sold the cassava to send you to school. It's not no madness. You know, it's not no madness. Your destiny is what we are talking about. So take responsibility to accept the truth and be ready to you know to do something to change the family background. Your mother is growing older than her age. Your father is growing older than his age, and yet they have you. Hmm? They have you, so you can do something about this. I hear what I'm saying. What what I, what I mean here is this: uh, you know, 
we all have the potential you know take a look at yourself in what in whatly rather in whatly you find out that you have the potential which you can use to become something on this earth you know some of you are talented you know as comedians they're talented as, as singers you know you may be talking about supporters start first supporting yourself showcase yourself yes don't be ashamed don't be shy of coming out in, of making those mistakes because your potential you start face by making mistakes you'll be making some mistakes and those mistakes that you are making are actually you know exposing you to the perfection that you are looking for so don't be afraid of making the mistakes we are talking about your life you give yourself in the next one year two three four five years you know you might have worked on your potential and it become perfect that the world will be paying for it and from there now you can save your family not no not credential credential only pays you 30,000 20,000 15,000 15,000 50,000 an amount of money that can't take care of you let alone to remember your family government is not helping back matters in this country nigeria yes if you are out there you are still complaining about the government you are going to regret because they are not ready to help you Yes, our parents complained about government. You know, they grew old, and they gave it to us. We have been complaining to this age, and they are not ready to change. So they can't help you. you now I wonder why some of you are still ignorant. You know, blaming government, expecting government to give you free scholarship, to give you free uh, to provide job. They can't do that. They don't even do it. No, they can't do it. So what I would like you to do is this. I would advise you to do is this. You know, take a look at yourself. You have that potential. That thing that God says that it is greater than what is in the world. Make use of it. Please make do well to share this video. Share this video to your neighbors. Share it to your friends, your family, your old school friends. Those your school friends. Share this video. Make sure you share them. I still remember my humble self, your boy, Mr. Banabi, on my you know YouTube channel and the uh, charity on my Facebook page. Do well to share the video and uh, if you have your comments, leave it on the comment section. Let's keep talking about destinies. No, thank you so much. Thank you.